Ah, the unmistakable sound of an East Hope engine. I came across this beautiful little troller fishboat yacht, the Songbird, at the Ladysmith Marina in the summer of 2021. My host was the marine historian Robert Lawson, and Robert gave me a full briefing on the history of the vessel, which provided the technical details that I can share with you in this YouTube. The Songbird is a 23-foot Columbia-style troller, originally built in 1950 at Nanaimo, British Columbia. It was actively used in commercial fishing for 10 years, and then, amazingly, it was put away in a barn where it was stored out of the elements for 20 more years. In 1980, a fellow named Chuck Davidson bought it, brought it back to life, and he did some replanking, and he found a whole series of beautiful bronze fittings that he retrofitted throughout the boat. Perhaps most significantly, Chuck Davison restored the original East Hope engine, which had been purchased new for the boat. It is an 814 model, two-cylinder East Hope. It has dual ignition fitted, that is, with both a magneto and a coil, and there are two separate spark plugs for each cylinder. Davison extended the wheelhouse in both length and height. He added beveled glass windows, a berth, a sink, and water storage. He added a heat exchanger, converting the engine to being freshwater cooled. Robert Lawson pointed out to me that East Hopes were saltwater cooled by design, and the salt tended to corrode the engine castings, and eventually the heads would crack. Being cooled with fresh water prevented that. The heat exchanger made a big change in the life extension of this engine. Davison finished the restoration just in time for Expo 86 in Vancouver, where it was put on display for the world. Sadly, Davison passed away in 1987. By 2009, the vessel had had a number of different owners. She received a major refit at Annesis Island on the Fraser River. Several bottom planks were replaced, Robert Lawson says about half of them, and some new ribs were installed, and he says now that she's strong and watertight. Sydney Johnson and Angel Demers purchased her in 2016. They kept her at their marina on the Fraser River across from Annesis Island, and sadly, Sydney died in 2019, and Angel had to sell the marina. She decided to donate the vessel to the Lady Smith Maritime Society in January 2020. She is a little gem of a boat, but for many people it's the sound of the working East Hope engine that is most significant. Robert Lawson loves this part of the songbird best, and he describes the sound as a link to the past, what he terms oral history. The Lady Smith Mar Marine Society preserves and presents several small heritage vessels afloat. They are at the Lady Smith Marina, which is well worth a visit for a dock walk. <laughs> 